Morning guys! Hi, I'm back. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while. So I'm going to do a get ready video, uh, or get ready with me video. I think that's what they're called. Basically where I'm going to do my uh, makeup that I'm going to wear for the rest of the day. And the theme is I'm going to work and I'm working 12 to 8 so I need it to last all day. It is now something like 8.30 so it definitely needs to last. So I'm going to start off with Wake Me Up Foundation. This is in Ivory, which is the lightest shade they do it in, I believe. And it's too dark for me. So I'm going to show you how I deal with that. So I'm going to pump some on my hands. Going to grab a Face Expert brush, which I'm going to buff into the skin really, really well. You could use your fingers for this, that isn't a problem. You just ensure that it's really, really well blended into the skin so it doesn't look to a weird shade on you. And remember to blend it down the neck. So it's the same colour. So I'm now going to leave that sit on the skin and I'm going to go straight on to eyebrows and this is new to me, this is called Archery in Brownie Points from Soap and Glory. So I'm going to be using this side first which is a felt tip, it's really weird, I'll show you on my hands. It's not even showing. It's a re light sort of stain, but I tried this yesterday. I even gave my myself, myself a moustache with it, which was quite funny to see uh, yesterday with it, but I only bought it yesterday, so I thought I'd have a bit of fun with it. So I'm going to do my brows. Um, warning, my brows desperately need uh, plucking, but I'm going to have them done HD again. Very, very soon. Then I'm going to go in on the other side, which is a waxy nib, so I'm just going to fill in anywhere with short brush strokes to make them look a bit more like hairs. So, I'm now going to go into a sleep palette, and it's this one here, and this is called Storm, and I'm going to be using this palette here. So, going in with flat brush and this is my 239 by MAC I'm gonna go into this shadow here and it's the first one on the top when you open it so I'm gonna be applying that all over my lid So now that's all of the lid. I have left a little gap on the insides there. I'm going to zoom in a bit better so you can see. Do, 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 do. You can see my eye bag this morning. Um, you can see I've left a little bit of gap in the inside because I'm going to go into this shimmery light champagne colour which is right beside that one. Obviously you use whatever product you've got. I'm just going to be applying that right to the inner corner. The same 239 brush. And also apply that to the underneath as well. This helps open up the eyes and brighten up the eyes. Especially if you're feeling lovely and tired as I am this morning. I'm now going to flip back and forth through the brush and try and blend that in and poke myself in the eye. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into this shade here. Which you're not even looking this shade here which is a matte uh, camel sort of colour and I'm going to go in fluffy brush by Lauren Luke dip my brush in and just apply that into the crease really lightly I'm 
And now for the outer corners, I'm going to go into this dark, dark, dark colour here, which is uh, the first one on the bottom. And I'm going to apply that on my 239 again and just apply that to the outer corners. Don't worry if it looks messy for now. I am going to be blending that in. So right to the outer corners and ensure that it's going up and not down. So I'm just manipulating the eyeshadows by moving the brush round to slightly blend and then go into my... You see I'm not ready this morning, I'm really tired. Um, my 217 by MAC and just blend that in slightly up into the crease as well. I'm going to go in with the first colour I use as well, just to ensure that that colour is prominent. Going slightly over where I've just put that darker shade. Going back in with my fluffy brush and just blending it all in so it's lovely and seamless. So just doing back and forth motions and sometimes doing little circular motions as well. But I'm using this really, really lightly. I'm using it, holding it like a pencil and then just having it at the end of my, of the tip of it and just using it right lightly. So I'm not digging in, I'm just using it ever so feather lightly. Um, I'm happy with that now. So I'm just going to go in and use mascara. And I'm using a Full C's Volume Express Mascara. So now I'm going to go in with concealer underneath my eye and I'm going to use using my uh, trusty Collection 2000 Concealer in Light. I'm just going to dot that underneath the eyes. Anywhere that I've got any darkness. And then using a Samantha Chapman brush called the Contour Brush just to dab that back and forth just to blend that in. See, I'm not sweeping because it will get rid of most of the product, so I'm just dabbing just to blend that in. So now I'm going to powder and I'm going to use this palette here. I haven't shown you this palette before, but um, this is something I got from eBay. So it's got like a white, a yellow tone, a lighter shade, a lighter beige shade, a pinky orangey shade, and then two bronzer shades. <coughs> and I'm going to go into the white. Um, as I said earlier, the foundation is too um, dark for me, so I'm just using a bit of the white just to go underneath the eyes. Slightly across the nose. Just ensure I blend that in. And this can also help uh, lighten and highlight. So now I've done that, I'm going to go into this bronzy shade here, which is the lighter of the two. Which reminds me slightly of Hula by Bronzer, which is quite, uh, Hula from Benefit, which is quite nice. I'm going to go into my contours. And swirl it round and blend it in. I'm now going to go into a blusher, and this is by Sleek. And this is called Pixie Pink and it's ever so bright. But I'm going to apply that a little bit on the end of the brush. And blend it on the apples and blend back. I'm also going to go in uh, this palette here. The big one that I used earlier. And just go into that most natural shade and just apply that underneath my brow bone. This also helps get rid of bring the colour down if you brought it up too much, but also highlights that area as well. I'm also going to highlight, and I'm going to use a Sleek Contour Kit in light, and I'm going to be using the highlight shade just to apply a little bit at the tops of my cheekbones. And finally, for lips, 
I'm going to be using this Revlon lip butter and this is new to me, this is in pink lemonade. So this is my makeup look that I'm going to be wearing to work today. I hope you really like it and if you have any questions or comments please put them below. By the way if you, I can understand if this is way too much for you for work um, but you can always use this for any other occasion. So I hope you like it. Please comment below if you've got any questions. Please subscribe. Please like this if you like it so I know I could do a few more uh, get ready with me. Uh, sort of looks and thanks ever so much for watching. Bye!